Vaccine experts for the FDA vote unanimously to recommend a booster shot of Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine. Here to answer your questions is Dr. Ali Raja, the Executive Vice Chair for Emergency Medicine at Mass General Hospital. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks. All right, Dr. Raja, so nearly 315,000 people in Massachusetts received J&J's single dose vaccine. So why is this FDA panel recommending that all of them, even healthy adults, get a second shot at least two months, although it's likely been longer than that, after the initial shot? Well, Ben, here's the thing. So the data has always shown that the J&J &J vaccine was really good at protecting against severe illness and death, but that it wasn't quite honestly as good at protecting against mild or moderate COVID as the other vaccines. So the data presented by J&J &J to the FDA showed that after the second dose, after basically a booster of the J&J &J vaccine, they were able to get the efficacy up into the mid 90s where Moderna and Pfizer were after both doses. Hmm. And Dr. Raja, the CDC says 91% of Americans who are fully vaccinated with J&J &J got their shot you know, more than two months ago, as Ben alluded to. So what can you tell us about their risk of infection right now? Do they have less protection? I mean, you just spoke about it a little bit from COVID than someone who received two shots of Moderna and Pfizer. Erica, they do. But first of all, I want to reassure all my patients and all your viewers who receive J&J &J that they should feel comfortable knowing that they're well protected against severe illness and death. So thank you for getting the vaccine. But yes, overall, the protection of for getting COVID at all is lower for, uh, compared to the other two vaccines. All right. So today's vote, it's just a recommendation. It now goes to the full FDA, then to the CDC to make the final decision. So how long could that process take to the average layman? It seems like it's a long process. I know. I know. And I totally get it, Ben. Here's the thing. It should only be a matter of weeks. So last Friday, the CDC announced meetings of its advisory council uh, to consider the Moderna and the J&J &J vaccine boosters on October 20th and 21st, which is just next week. So I think we're going to start seeing boosters for those two vaccines roll out quickly after that. I think Halloween, early November. Meantime, do you think those who got the J&J &J should be waiting longer? I mean, the FDA also reviewing the benefits of mixing and matching different vaccine brands. So do you think J&J &J recipients should wait for those results? Maybe it's better to get a booster of Pfizer or Moderna? Erica, there's this, so it's really interesting. There's some data that came out just a couple of days ago. Uh, there was a study about 500 patients that showed that if you started with J and J and got a booster of either Pfizer or Moderna, you would have more protection than if you got a booster of J and J. But the important thing to remember is that after that second booster of J and J, you were still more than 95 percent, 94, 95 percent protected. So. It, it, what I think we'll see is that after the J&J &J one shot, you will need a second shot, but it probably won't make a huge difference which one of the three you get. Okay. All right. Dr. Dr. Ali Raja with Mass General Hospital. Thanks for your time on this Friday. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Eric and Ben. Yeah.